hello all welcome to my channel today we are going to look at uh, the basic generic uh, uh, interview questions for uh, all your data engineer profile first we'll be covering for uh, data factory and let me start with my video so uh, we'll first cover the basic generic questions which would be expected uh, in the interview so uh, i'll start with uh, i'll start with the questions uh, so basically what is earlier data factory so it is a tool for etl or elt tool for uh, data transformation and load it supports data movement between uh, many on-prem and cloud data sources um, it is serverless and we can focus on integration logic and not to worry about infrastructure management so basically this uh, earlier data factory can do both uh, etl or elt process it is a very easy uh, it is a very easy to build uh, code free process where you can directly design uh, the pipelines and activities according to the requirement and it is very uh, user friendly okay so next the next question what is the link service in azure data factory so link service are much like connection strings which define the connection information for the service to connect to external resources say we are going to get data from an oracle database to connect to the oracle database we should provide certain credentials right so such credentials are said to be the connection strings and these connection strings are defined inside azure data factory as a link service so that data factory can make connections to the data source okay so going to the next question what is uh, integration runtime and its types so integration runtime it is the compute infrastructure which is used by the azure data factory and the synapse pipelines to provide the integration capabilities across different network environment so for this integration uh, runtime there are of three types first one is self hosted integration runtime where which is being used for on prem servers where uh, you have to download a uh, self -hosted hosted integration runtime um, from the data factory you have to download and execute it and activate it with the ir keys given in the portal okay the next one is azure integration runtime which is used for azure resources and azure ssis integration runtime which is used for uh, deploying uh, ssis packages okay and regarding self hosted integration runtime for on prem server for in in a one integration runtime we can connect up to four nodes Okay. and we don't have any uh, limit on the runtime instances which we create uh, in the azure data factory okay and you might also get questions like how do you deploy your code after development okay so either if you have configured uh, devops uh, in in your uh, data factory you will be working in your feature pipeline and you can move the pipeline to the master branch which will be uh, after which will be deployed to the master branch and it will get live else uh, if you are going to have separate data factories for prod non prod dev uat in that case you will save your temp uh, you would save your uh, pipeline as a template and then uh, put that into some repository and ask the uh, admins to deploy that in the production data factory okay and uh, the next question how do you monitor uh, pipelines in azure data factory so when there are some schedule triggers or when uh, even based triggers or whatever whenever there is a trigger and automatically a pipeline is getting executed you can go to monitor tab and see what all the pipelines which are uh, being executed um, at that point of time and in case if you are manually executing a pipeline using debug or publish or something in that case you can go to the output tab of pipeline to see how the pipeline the status of pipeline execution you can also check that in the monitor tab as well okay and next one how to execute a pipeline till certain activity so if you can create a breakpoint say a pipeline is having 10 activities you want to execute a pipeline till third activity you can just go to the third activity and on the top uh, on the right top corner you will have a breakpoint setup you can just click on that red marked one that red circle and give debug after which you can see the pipeline will execute until only until the third activity okay so you can create a breakpoint at the activity till the pipeline execution should be done and then click on debug 
இருக்கு அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் லைக் மேக்ஸிமம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் லிமிட் பர் பைப்லைன் ஸோ வி த ஆஸ் பர் த லேட்டஸ்ட் ரிலீஸ் தே வி கேன் ஓன்லி ஹேவ் அப் டு ஃபார்ட்டி ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் இன் சைட் அ பைப்லைன் சே யூ ஹேவ் அ ரெக்வயர்மெண்ட் டு ஹேவ் மோர் தேன் ஃபார்ட்டி ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் டு பி எக்ஸிக்யூட்டட் அட் அ சிங்கிள் கோ யூ கேன் ஸ்பிளிட் அப் தி ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் இன் டு டூ பைப்லைன்ஸ் அண்ட் யூ கேன் டிஃபைன் தி அதர் ஒன் அஸ் அ சைல்டு பைப்லைன் அண்ட் யூ கேன் கால் தி சைல்டு பைப்லைன் டு தி மெயின் பைப்லைன் யூசிங் எக்ஸிக்யூட் அ பைப்லைன் ஆக்டிவிட்டி and you can get this achieved okay so but at this point of time we only have 40 activities executed at a time so and uh, i mean 40 activities to be executed inside a pipeline not more than that okay what type of alerting can be configured for pipeline execution in data factory so this is a very common question which we get uh, we can either use azure alerting or logic apps uh, i'll explain the advantages of both scenarios for both uh, azure alerting will be used when we are uh, having uh, the trigger execution it can be linked to triggers azure alerts can be linked to triggers uh, say there is a trigger which is being executed at 2 am the results of the trigger can be configured into a azure alert with some uh, uh, email distribution group so that the group will be notified if the trigger is failed or not i mean is succeeded or not the status of the trigger that way but uh, when you have to give a clear uh, alerting with all the pipeline information and with all the error information and all the uh, uh, files processed and when you want to have a crystal clear uh, email alerting to be set up for pipeline execution we can go for logic apps uh, so this these are the basic generic questions which i have uh, taken for uh, uh, as the i have taken for uh, for today uh, see you in the next video thank you